So there's plant-based alternatives that do exist, but um, we find that in order to for people to want to eat something, they have to like the texture. There's plant-based nuggets, plant-based patties that do a good job at trying to mimic that burger, but nothing like a steak or a whole piece of meat. We were looking at the market and we kind of saw this opportunity to take a step back and use some fundamental ingredients such as protein and starch just to combine them and create a novel whole muscle meat analog. It's not like a burger, it's not like a sausage, it is a, a fibrous analog that's more like let's say a chicken breast or a piece of beef. So we had some knowledge about this protein called Zane. It's this protein from corn and we knew that it had existing kind of viscoelastic or stretchy properties and we thought can we use that existing property and create a fibrous system and so we found certain starches and proteins and combine them and make a plant-based and make a, a fibrous analog and so we wanted to kind of utilize uh, this natural existing artifact that this protein has and then enhance that by adding additional kind of pea proteins to add more nutritional value and starches to add more of uh, uh, chewiness and texture profile. I think what excites me most is that it kind of takes a step back into using a hands-on technique. We don't rely on um, expensive equipment or high pressure processing, which is typically how these fibrous systems are made. The, CL the CLS is a, or Canadian Light Source, is a fantastic resource that we were able to use. And in doing so, we looked at using FTI FTIR microscopy and uh, micro CT. In our case, we were able to see, uh, to differentiate what happens around the fiber, looking at the starches, looking at the proteins, and how those interactions are playing a part in making this uh, plant-based meat system.